Straw Hut Media. Plucking an eyebrow hair is like plucking a feather from an ostrich. From Straw Hut Media. (laughs) This is Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. I think it's a style. Yeah. Uh, Uh, So is yours. I can't believe you're back. This is so good. Oh, we are. I can't believe I have the same jacket that she has. Do you really have? Is that the same one? It's similar. Mine's way more expensive. Uh, (laughs) Oh my God. I missed you guys so much. You have no idea. Like, I really thought my life was over. I was hiding out. I had I had to. And now that the swelling is starting to go down, I'm, you know, trying to figure out I'm seeing a doctor to figure out like how to get my skin to be tight again. But there's certain areas that just won't ever. And he told me, I'm not a like a very established doctor told me um that I'm not a candidate for a facelift because my skin's very tight. But no, uh, my my tongue started to swell up and I couldn't speak mm-hmm. and I was spitting and I didn't have control of my mouth. And that's when it, I was just like what that's when I started to like explore like going to the doctor and figuring it out and I had no vision. Like I couldn't I couldn't see my five fingers in front of me. They looked blurry. I couldn't hear. My whole face was swollen. I couldn't taste food and when I did put anything in my mouth it burned my whole mouth. And my throat swelled up several different times and I'm moving, yeah. which I don't think people realize. That like, exacerbated but it no, for but sure. I move all the time. So it's right. not like that big of a stress right. for me. I think having my parents there when I was moving was <laughs> yeah. more stressful. Um, but I move, Ryan, you know, I move like constantly. Every two years we move. I don't know why. I love your new house, by the way. Oh, thank uh, you. Side note. Um, but um, then finding out that you'd gone to the hospital was like... Well, it was a very stressful time for me just because of all of the um, the narrative that was out there, me not being able to speak on it, me doing all of the steps I, I did do in order to be, you know, back in the fold for jobs and then all these jobs canceling. I didn't work the whole year. I know you've just wanted that footage to come out for so long and it's been, I mean, it's pretty horrible to have to defend yourself for something, one that you didn't do, but one that is a really serious allegation. I and, mean, I can't imagine- And by the way, like, like, show us. Like, yeah. I mean, we were all wasted, show yeah. us. Like, I, I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna apologize because I don't remember exactly what happened. I know I didn't do anything wrong, what? but I know I was drunk and yeah. I know I gave a lap dance. Nothing that is out of the ordinary for me on Housewives. But that said, like people asking me to apologize means that I'm guilty and I'm not guilty. And I think staying silent for so long was kind of the downfall of the whole situation too, because like then it's like, well, guilty is just presumed because right, you're because being I'm silent. Quiet and that's not who I am. But I'm then, not quiet. Yeah. But, and then wanting to though, please, like, I don't want to bite the hand that feeds me. Right. And, and like, Andy's I don't like, keep wanna... your head down, keep your head down, keep your head down. Don't say anything. This will pass. But when the allegations are that serious and you know you didn't do anything, I know that I've spoke, like, speaking to you and then speaking to people that have been on the cast, like, nothing actually did happen right. and that you're so open and you want to actually scream, you know, scream but, and also just like, Pull up if you have any of these receipts, please. Right, like but anything. Like, that's why I think I got sick. I yeah. honestly think I had to internalize so many things oh, yeah. when I couldn't speak. It imploded in my health. Yeah, like I could have died. And right now, I mean, that is no joke. Like, yeah. had I not gone to the hospital, because like my throat closed a couple times, and Jake begged me to go to the hospital. Mm. I put on like Vicks vapor rub and put a scarf yeah. around. I'm like. I'm fine, honey. Like, I just don't want to panic. Are you one of those people that don't go to the hospital until you're absolutely dying? No, I I go. Like, if I'm scared, (laughs) I go. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, But because I couldn't speak on it, I just was imploding inside and and that's what happened to my health, I believe. A lot of natural medicine people say that is like things that show up in your body are always unresolved. It's cortisol, it's stress. And and it started actually like on the podcast when my tongue was swelling mm-hmm. and there's been like 200, over 200 blogs yeah. about that for a year. And then they pushed the show back again. Like anyone's gonna, like anyone's gonna go to the hospital. Like that, 
I mean, that just stressed me out to no end. Not having income for one yeah. year, ridiculous, yeah. when it should have been the busiest year of my life because the writer's strike, there's so many reality shows shooting. Yeah. And so it just all like internalized and it came to be very stressful. And I have angioedema and like it was, it was just hell. Like on my birthday, I just cried and cried and cried and cried and just thought like, I will never see again because I couldn't see. Yeah. Like I went to dinner I'm, with Mason yeah. and I just went because he and his girlfriend because they wanted to. I paid for dinner. I put on makeup without being able to see what I put on. I remember you calling me saying, uh, "This I'm just gonna have to get used to this being my new normal now. Yeah. I'm never gonna work again, and this is my face now. I've lost. I can't believe it. You were almost like I took it for granted. Like I, I don't did. have. I, took my I don't have. For look, granted. Like I. This is how I'm going to look for the rest of my life, which was just horrible. Plus, you were also staying indoors because the moment you went to the hospital, everybody wanted to get a picture of you right. or see you. Or I know TMZ was like trying to offer money to get pictures of you and things like that. And you would literally hold up in your house. Well, I didn't want. I was embarrassed of the way. Yeah. I Yes. But then I thought, you know what? Like, it's important to share this because, mm. like, people need to know that mm. this this can happen. This takes a toll. It's not just we're not just here for your entertainment. Yeah. Like, this is our real life. Yeah. Like, and if somebody says about you these horrible things and you can't speak on it, and a year goes by and you're not working, it takes a toll. I'm not an actress. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is my real life. you're like seeing things every day about you being a predator and you're like why am i like this is the ho most horrible thing you can say about anyone Ever. yeah like so i mean short of being a murderer like do you know what i mean it's well, like there's the... <laughs> we'll I get mean, to that <laughs> why, i mean honestly like brandy glanville knows a murderer like she, oh. He, oh my she god knows... the day that that came out and you're trying to stay silent so here's <laughs> brandy holed up in her house she's literally dark Crying. on social media she's not going out um and she's also i'm like don't go outside brandy she wanted to go to lunch with a friend i'm like well make sure you just do it at home she's like i want to leave the house i'm like no no no, no. someone's gonna get a picture I of know. it like they'll be somewhere but this was like and when then, i was starting to look a little bit better like i needed to like come. just stay home i'm like yeah. i've been home for seven months and then so all of a sudden like there's headlines happening as they usually do people picking up old stories whatever but then it comes out and i'm reading in the new york post um uh which is not funny by the way you know mm -hmm. obviously like no. this woman was found decapitated by her husband and she, i think she was chopped up yes because like, they had only found the bottom half i think to be yeah with. and then her her parents were chopped up as well but the headline i mean which is horrible <laughs> no the headline it, it's like the last Brandy thing i needed glanville works, works with, with, a, murderer. with a triple murder it's like like I'm like, okay, so <laughs> these, this is not, like I literally- CNN called me to see if you would go on and talk me. about it. They called it. my ex-publicist, because uh, we're still really good friends. And yeah. she's like, I don't see this being good for you to talk about. And yeah. I'm like, I don't have anything to say. Like yeah. I did a movie, he was very legit. His dad was this huge agent. I got booked, you know, by him. I have emails from him and about what I should bring and what sh I should wear and I didn't even know it was a slasher movie because I had one scene in the kitchen with my hot son. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hot yeah. son, was he supposed to be the hot son? Or you he was, no, he was hot, he was, a, he was oh, hot, but he was yeah. my son. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was like the MILF. Yeah. Did you ever get a weird vibe from him? Um. Did you go back to his house? He was. We shot the movie at his house. Oh. Yeah. But never alone together. No. Um, no. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Like we, we definitely had, emails back and forth and we shot, I mean, there was a scene that I shot by myself at the house, but there was people there, you know, there yeah. was like a camera person and, but I didn't get a weird vibe from him. I just got, he's a perfectionist. Like I had to be like, right. he wanted me to do it over and over. And that's great, he's, he's a movie maker. Yeah. Um, and I'm not an actress. So I was just like, okay, I'll do it again and again and again and again. And I did my part and I left and we had emails after that, like about, he was gonna help me make a reel. And then I was just... Oh, lucky you didn't get too cozy with him. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, but the... I mean, but then the he I'm in the, the headlines headline, with the murderer. Like, 
this is the Jesus. chaos that ensues though while you're trying to get better right. and like it's just like one thing after another it really tested me this yes. year yes i don't want to steal the thunder from a murderer because like i don't like what if he gets mad that i'm in a headline with them like <laughs> let him have his own headline well i mean i i think i was calling you to talk like oh cnn <laughs> wants you to come on and you're like no why would i want him? what happens when he gets <laughs> Yeah, what if he makes bail and he's like, that bitch, this is about oh me. God. I did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. It was horrible. Oh. I mean, like horrible for horrible the people for that died, yeah, yeah. but also horrible for me. Sorry, I, I know mm. that sounds horrible, but they, they, they are dead. So mm. I felt bad for the family. I just, it's just so bizarre that someone mm. that comes from that kind of wealth and that kind of, mm. like, it seems so normal. Yeah. Could. Well, he was a perfectionist, which is kind of... Is that bad? That is a lot of um, serial killers. I also didn't know the movies were slasher movies. Oh, so he was... Oh, I, my, my was in a God. kitchen. I don't, girl, I didn't read the script. <laughs> you were just like, yes, knew. I'll be there. I'm like, what pages are mine? <laughs> uh, and you never watched it. Okay. Are no, we, I don't ever watch anything. We need to find this movie and watch it. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. I have like my little part that he sent me. Did oh. I send that to you? No. Oh gosh, I look cute. <laughs> I was a MILF. Oh. So God. yeah, the headlines after headlines after headlines, it's like they progressively got worse because people were bored. And like, yeah. and the fact that like this is being allowed by Bravo to happen without like saying anything on my behalf, or even the fact that they pushed it mm. back for this to be prolonged. Mm really just when I did everything they asked me to do and I was just like this is like I just hit my limit and I ended up in the hospital for a few days and because I was in the heart um because what are you without your health so really right. staying silent is just not an option no matter what the recourse is or what thing you think you might miss out on or someone right. will blackball you because you just realized that at the cost of your health which means you can't do shit anyway right and that's not who I am. I'm yeah. not. And so for me to be silent. I think this silent, is the most silent you've ever been on well, any topic. They, and this, they told yeah. me I had to be. Well, and it's so serious. So and you're all just the other girls, like, they told them too. Mm. So the fact that this narrative got out there, got leaked out yeah. there, is all that they had to go on. So that these kept growing and growing and growing. And then we're not allowed to be out there speaking about it. But yeah. because everyone's like, why aren't the other girls backing you up? I'm like... Vicky, Phaedra, Eva, yes. Gretchen. I mean, you guys went on your own girls trip down into the Hamptons. I mean, I why is anyone going to be hanging out with you if they're feeling, I mean, it's just so unjust. And the fact is, I mean, I'm sure they have amazing teams over at NBC Universal um, that make sure that the, the stories that we want to come out about the, right. you know, squashing it. And but it just goes to show that like, like it's a David and Goliath situation and yeah. they like really don't care about me. And all anyone cares about that loves you, which is most people, because you're like a super favorite of that whole universe, is Thank like, you. we're missing out on Brandy. Well, I was missing out on me. Like, I, I, I was not, it was not a good year. And now it's a new year. Yes. So we're here. Yes. We're talking about our new year. To switch to a lot of fun note, we had a really nice Thanksgiving we together, did. didn't we? I, so I invited you to my Thanksgiving with my modern family. We went to the <laughs> Ivy. I loved it. It was so cute. I just couldn't believe that that whole situation, just to be really candid, like that you guys are such great friends after all this time. And it's so nice. And everyone was super lovely. I love your kids. Um, and obviously I'd met them a bunch of times before, but um, Eddie and Leanne were super sweet and yeah. lovely. I was a little grumpy because my face was swollen and I, we had to go to the Ivy. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to see anyone. But I I did want the kids to have Thanksgiving. I wanted to see his parents and all of that. Yeah. And I let them. Um, and I couldn't taste, like the food, everything tasted spicy. I was just, I was a little grumpy, but I was glad that you got to see like my family. They are my family. It is. And it's so nice. I was probing you in the car on the way there. I'm like, how is this even a thing? Like, it's so <laughs> awesome to see. Like, that is such a beautifully, if for anything ever, like, you know, you, you have your like hot takes and your controversial opinions and stuff like that. And you're like, cut a bitch if they eat, like, you know, <laughs> whatever. Like, no, well, you will. Like, you're oh, always like, you know, you're feisty. But then to see that there's a situation like this that, you know, happened many years ago, but like it took you 10 years to get there. But like, that is still pretty beautiful. Like, all you care about is your kids. Most people use their kids as like a thing and like, like make them fight yeah, and whatever. You're like, honey, this is the modern family. But that's why my kids are so good. Like, yeah. like uh, Mason's modeling agent said, every single person that works with him 
they say how polite he is, how sweet he is, how he's always on time. I go, yeah, because I raised him. And if he wasn't, I'd kill him. Yeah. But like, it's just. It's the nicest relationship you have with your sons. Like, it's really (laughs) cute. I mean, it's you switch between like best mother ever and then also their friend like and they're like i want to be a part of this and like show me your new girlfriend and, like, i want to see it i know it's like mommy wants to play too i know and they're like oh mom you can't i'm yeah. not allowed okay tell me about christmas with leanne and eddie and the whole family because i missed that oh yeah i, I saw you a picture i know So I wasn't, so the Saturday before Christmas, I had a little relapse, like a swelling. And like, I was like Mm -hmm. talking to my mom on the phone and she's like, are you, are you eating? And I was like, I'm like, oh shit. And so I think it was just Christmas and like getting everything done and making sure all the presents were done and the lights and the tree and all of that. Um, So I went over, I had a splitting headache, but we, we did gifts. And it's so funny because Leanne and I, we, always bond over it. We love skincare and we get these little machines and she like, like I gave her a machine, like a little radio frequency machine last year for Christmas. Mm. And then this year she gave me a cute little machine that she likes. And then like, if she finds something online, I'm like, how do you find these machines? Cause one of them was $700, but it was really good. I mean, we definitely liked it. And then she got a hyperbaric oxygen chamber for her house. Ooh. I was like, ooh, I want one. Can I get that for Christmas? Uh, but You no. said she always gives you the best Christmas she gifts. She does. She gave me like uh. this really like expensive little facial machine. And it's funny because on the Christmas um, gifts, she, on my like presents, she always write, lovely. This is uh. not Lee and Eddie. <laughs> 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 because she clearly <laughs> bought it for me. You know, like, it's yeah. from her. It's a facial instrument, you yeah. know? I mean, I doubt Eddie went and picked that out with her. Yeah. But, um, but you guys are actually friends now. Like, yeah. if you get into it, like, so you guys, I mean, she, she's been there for you through the whole face thing and, like, supportive. Yeah. And It was, you know, it was hard. Like, I didn't want to be around anyone, but I, I could be around them because they're my family and yeah. I know they're not going to post any pictures yeah. and they actually have empathy for me. Yeah. And they're like, this is just crazy. And, you know, they're worried too, yeah. you know, because I was in the hospital and yeah. they're like, you know, random, you know, yeah. I'll get texts when I'm in the hospital from certain people, but a lot of people didn't know because I didn't want to scare anyone. But Mason told them and then Lee texts me and, you know, we do have a really good relationship. And I, I cherish that because a lot of people, I went to dinner with a friend, I'm not gonna say who. This person was like, I can't believe you're going to Christmas with Leanne, I hate her. <laughs> I think my, some of my friends yeah. s- still hold on to what happened in the past right. and hate her. I'm like, guys, we've grown, we've changed, yeah. we're different people now. But well, they I, haven't been there for the whole 10 years of you. I mean, it obviously yeah. wasn't always that way. Well, they were there for the angry can 10 years. Can I just years. say, I can imagine you and Leanne being like the last one standing together one day, like with martini glasses in your hands, like smoking a cigarette, like, like being fabulous. Like in the world, like, like the like, last one no, standing. I just mean like, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm imagining maybe it's just my gay side, but like you guys buy a pool <laughs> somewhere in a fabulous side? villa over in France. Like, and you and Leanne just laughing, sitting back, maybe single. What happened to all the... <laughs> I was going to say, what happened to her husband and my children? I don't know, just like, fuck men. Uh, well, like I, mean, I wouldn't want that <laughs> because that would mean that she's not with, you know, Eddie, oh, yeah, but okay. that would oh, be yeah, mean. Sorry. Okay, um, well, sorry, I just turned it into a Ryan Murphy production. <laughs> you turned it into a Lifetime movie. <laughs> oh, that's how they met. First Wives Club, hello. Yay! No, but, uh, it, you know, it is good, and it's good to have people I can trust and, like, yeah. be, I, like I, they know some of my secrets mm-hmm. about certain things that I'm doing right now that are coming up. And I trust that they're not going to say anything. Mm. And I mean, I don't trust my kids as much because they just have big mouths. Yeah. But we should go see um, Leanne in concert. You were saying she has one of the best voices you've ever heard. Yeah, she does. I just don't do concerts in general. Why? Too cool? No, because I'm mm. afraid I'm going to get killed. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is actually a valid point these days. Yeah, so that's why I don't do them. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not too cool i just after the ariana grande thing and the vegas shooting thing oh i'm I'm a very scary i don't know why even artists would want to do concerts anymore with everyone throwing shit at them right it's just you can't get up on stage without people throw what is wrong where are these metal detectors when you walk in you're supposed to like not be have like things to throw and bombs Mm. and shit 
Yeah, so I'm good on that. <laughs> I love it. Well, that sounds like a beautiful Christmas. But I she sings that. all the time and at Christmas and the holidays, so I don't really need to go to a you concert. You stand there with a fork going, sing, sing. No, but I kind of do feel like some of the other, like her family do and the that. manager's like, okay, oh. come on, let's sing. Here and she's she is. Like, she's oh. going to sing. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, come on, show pony. But uh. I usually get up and I do the dances in the background. Uh. La, la, la. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a good dancer. I've mm-hmm. seen you. Not lately, but I do need to do some yoga. Oh, well. Stretch it all out. Oh, so, well. how was your New Year's? Um, my New Year's was very uneventful. I mean, I had Christmas Eve with you, and then New Year's just kind of ran through. I really needed the break, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much, like just doing nothing, that I was actually really excited to get back to work yesterday. Yeah. Like, and I was totally ready to check out at the beginning of the vacay. Um, I do feel a little bit robbed because I didn't go anywhere, um, but I will go to Aspen this Friday and oh, that will give so me nice. what I need just over the weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't, yeah, there's not I always feel like New Year's Eve specifically is for amateurs. Everyone oh, yeah. that doesn't go out ever yeah. goes out and everything's more expensive. You can't get an Uber. Yeah. And I just. It's the you, intense vibes like must have it. fun now. Must do crazy things. Must it's just kiss that someone energy at is so. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. I mean, we usually are naturally like that, but not every single person in the world. It's too much. Yeah, no, I agree. I think. Well, I think that like I was just happy to be home. Mm. I mean, I was watching Jake for Eddie. Because I do that every weekend. <laughs> and Watching and like, you Eddie. do realize it's New Year's Eve weekend. He was like, uh, yeah. I'm uh, like, you're lucky that I don't make plans. And uh, we did have plans on New Year's Day, but like everything just kind of We were so it's happy to not... get out of those plans, weren't no, we? <gasps> stop it. Uh, uh, no, we were we oh. were so sad. I don't know if she's listening to this. And plus, she's super cool. I <laughs> was we worried. Sad. I just thought it was during the day and not in the evening. Yeah, and then me Jake too. Was I say- hate stuff at five o'clock if it's a day thing. Because that's the like, in-between time. Yeah. I love that. Also, I felt like everyone would be like hungover. I mm. wasn't because I didn't do anything. I was mm. in bed at 9.30 the night before. Mm. I was kind of fighting something because Jake got sick. Mm. And then I was like a little bit sick. But I wasn't letting it happen because I was coming in here. Well, that is so exciting and I'm so glad to be back with you. We have so many good guests and episodes coming up. Plus, you have an announcement for us next week I'm really Woo! excited about. Me too. So, let's finish on that high note. I'm yes. so glad to have you back. Well, are you just done now? Oh, um, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I it's James' be- podcast. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, so he says. I, it's my so you podcast say. and so you I'm say. not done yet. <laughs> Jesus. What's that thing where she goes, so you say? Uh, so you say. Uh, Diana. And she was like, "Name them." <laughs> no, that's Name the other one. Name them. Oh my god! Oh, I can't <laughs> believe you haven't seen Housewives of Salt Lake City. I was yet. like watching Married at First Sight all day yesterday. I'm addicted to it, uh, and doesn't mean I want to have them as guests because I don't, Ryan. But I'm, I like it is so. People literally got married without knowing each other. Can I tell you? I, I loved it. I only watched season one, episode one of Married at First Sight yesterday, um, and it felt kind of uncomfortable for me to watch. There's people that have shipped in from other countries that are 21 years old. You're watching that are the wrong show. This... That's not what, that's not the show. <laughs> oh no, mine's 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a different show. Yeah, uh, but okay. yeah, that one's a little uncomfortable for sure. I'm like this poor little girl yeah. is like from Colombia and she's come over here and she's like, and he's like, should we sleep together now? And she's like, no, <laughs> oh my God. It's bringing me back PTSD from being married. <laughs> Oh, because you didn't want to sleep with your husband? I was just a young girl and I didn't want to sleep with him. <laughs> oh but I had God. to if I wanted to stay in the country. You're so hijacking the end of my podcast. Okay, sorry. You go go right ahead, Brittany Glanville. Um, what I would like. <laughs> Thanks, James Nass. Um, I would just like to say I did miss all of you so much and I'm really happy to be back. And we're going to be better than ever and more controversial than ever because guess what? I've had the worst year of my life and now I really don't give a fuck and I'm going to say what I want to say, do what I want to do, as long as it's not illegal. And you're going to hear from me all about everything. All about everything. I love it. Yes. And I'll be back on OnlyFans soon. I had to take a few months off because of my face. <laughs> uh, the, the tits and the booties given everything, though, just saying. Oh, you're saying you don't need my face? <laughs> so you're saying you put a pillow over my face? 
<laughs> uh, not in those Ooh, words. Uh, Your words, not mine. Um, you actually, when I was in the hot tub, we were at my house. Hmm. You're like, you should just walk everywhere backwards. I didn't mean it like that's that. How, I was just like, your butt looks so good. But that's what you said. Lead like, with your butt? Yeah. It's just, like, you should enter every room walking Well, if backwards. anyone cares to look, I had a little bit of fillers on my face. Oh. What does that have to do with my ass and walking backwards? I just backwards? wanted it to be about me. He just wants it to be all the way back neck to you me. I, I'm uh, neck down. I'm Miss Barbie, neck down. He's like, oh, we can. He's like, please tell me you have time to get your hair done. <laughs> I, I did, did not. I'm me. like, Jesus. <laughs> well, because I knew that was going to happen. And this was going to, anyway, whatever. It's my hair. It'll give us it's... a chance to glow up over we the next couple up. of weeks. We will glow up. Listen, I have a sick kid at my house. I know. You're a very good mom. It just gets in the way of you being my full-time Barbie doll <laughs> that I just get to dress up and parade around. I mean, I'm uh, back though. I'm ready. Let's yeah, get, I know. Let's get... We have so much planned. I wish we could unveil all I know. Of it right it's now exciting. but like yeah brandy's got a good year coming up don't worry yeah. it's all we've been setting the stage for yes. this 2020 so setting the stage to get on the stage because i have a new mm. song coming out are we gonna get boyfriends this year no we're just gonna <laughs> fuck a lot okay fine fuck a lot <laughs> fuck a lot i have like lot. i haven't kissed since that whole thing happened i would I just like kiss. to fuck once this year <laughs> well i think you're well on your way for that <laughs> why your dates oh yeah dates oh you don't like one of my dates <laughs> i do like him oh, okay i really do I, I just don't know that you guys are a fit because i know you both oh yeah so and we'll work on it yeah we'll talk i'm gonna talk about it next time yeah yeah <laughs> look at your face uh. yeah <laughs> you look scared to death <laughs> all I don't right care. guys i don't know where it's going okay so... be quiet oh, okay, sorry. all right all right guys that's it for today and happy new year and you can do anything if you try. And if you get sick, go to a hospital that isn't Kaiser. <laughs> Bye, Felicia's. Bye, Becky and Karen and Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia only. <laughs> I have to get the last one. We have to get rid of Karen's. <laughs> uh, you really do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I was at an auction because he was speaking so fast. I was like, well, okay, sorry. I know you guys thought you got rid of us, but we are going to get back to those recaps because I can't wait to do them again. There's one thing that about Beverly Hills I have to say. What is it? It's a little bit of a recap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, recap it with me. Okay. Did you see when Erica Jane brought up Denise Richards' daughter on OnlyFans? Yes. Okay, so I wish that I had embodied Denise in that moment and I could have had my brain on for her. She was I, like, you have to know what you or you're walking into with these women. They're together. But I would have just been like, Erica, I thought kids were off limits. Like, remember when you freaked out when someone brought up your grown ass son's, you know, at least you freaked out your best friend, Eileen, and now you're talking about my 18 year old daughter? Like, that is some fucking hypocrisy bullshit. I'm so sad she didn't have her wits about her I on that know. night to be able to say something back because it was a real missed opportunity. I know. I mean, I probably, if I was Erica, I probably I would have said, I wouldn't have said, I don't bring up kids. Like, it's not my jam. Yeah. And like, I think that Erica knows that's off limits because it's off limits for her. Yeah. So I wish that Janice well, came in ready. It was such an easy shot. And then the fact that she didn't come back with something because it could have been squashed. Plus, and if you know your daughter's on OnlyFans, like, be ready yeah, to with the like, even yeah. if, you, if you don't if you know kids are off limits but if some asshole says it you gotta come with it yeah. and be like bitch you should get on only fans because she's making two hundred thousand dollars a month and you're barely paying your rent you had to go get you know a one dollar ticket on broadway or i mean on vegas yeah there's so many quick easy shots you could have right. taken back at erica i, know. I mean this was just such I mean, a missed like, opportunity i like erica but i'm just saying like you don't she you're not gonna go toe to toe with her but no. there's so many things you could have said like okay i'm erica your, okay. da your daughter was on only pants yeah bitch <laughs> <laughs> i was ex it well, was I real can't. and seen <laughs> <laughs> and that's what i would have done <sighs> i would have been like yeah your son's her biggest subscriber <laughs> <gasps> children are off limits really because he's an adult man oh <sighs> and you brought up my daughter I know you were very upset about that. She called me and was like, oh my, my God. God, if like, I could have only been her in that moment, I would have totally like- Yeah, I would have let her, I would have let the whole fucking room You're as sharp it. as a whip and you're right. If you know your daughter is on OnlyFans, have a you're, And you know you're walking into yeah. something where someone is gonna come after you. Cause she knew she was walking in yeah. to have a final conversation with Erica. Be ready 
No tequila for mm. breakfast. <laughs> well, look, when your jacket's upside down. <laughs> Allegedly. I oh, know. I think that was a different episode. Oh, okay. But yeah, when your jacket's upside down, scene. it's really, <laughs> you're not ready. <laughs> uh. It is, it's a cute trend. <laughs> I just feel bad for the whole situation. Yeah. Because, I mean, Denise is Denise, like fucking mm. Richards. I just think she didn't do herself any favors by coming back this season. Mm. She should have came in ready. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we are going to get into more Housewife shit after we watch all the shows. I'm a little behind. I know it's shocking, but I've been sick in a bed. And um, I'm, I'm dying back. to talk about Salt Lake. I'm I dying. I'm absolutely. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. <sighs> well, like we have to Best talk television about it. episode I've ever seen in my life of anything <laughs> ever. Oh, wow. And I was right about Monica for everyone that doubted me at the beginning of our recaps. I was right. I didn't doubt you. I said it's nice to be annoyed and not like someone. Mm. I d- you have to have it a It is villain. a nice distraction from my hatred for myself. Oh, my God. He does hate himself, but he's so handsome and sweet and kind and cute oh, and hyper. And he can't you. sit still for more than, like, five thank minutes. You. But I'm helping him. I'm putting glue on the sofas, <laughs> giving him his space. Like, you can bring your dog. Go outside if you need a break from me. You're We're going to have so much fun. We are. Let's do more. Let's have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media.